Hi everyone, welcome to Abiding Home. So today I'm going to be talking about um, some of the leading brands of diapers and what has and hasn't worked in our experience with our little one. So our uh, little guy is seven months now and so throughout the months we've kind of done a little bit of a trial and error with some of the diapers and so I have three um, the Loves, the Up and Up, also known as the Target brand, and the Huggies that I will be uh, going over. So I'm going to jump right in and just a little note from the get-go, there's no you know, perfect diaper out there. There's ones that work a little bit better, ones that work a little worse for your specific um, child and their skin and um, just what you are looking for. So I would say definitely take everything with a little bit of a grain of salt, but these are our personal experiences and just some wisdom we've gleaned in our trial and error process. So first off, I'm going to go through the Target brand, the Up and Up diapers. Um, so these ones are very budget friendly. So right off the bat, the top thing about these diapers is that they are fairly inexpensive. Um, sometimes Target runs uh, deals on them, extra promotional offers, um, but overall, even at their regular price, they are uh, cheaper than the other leading brands. So that's definite pop plus to these. Um, they have cute little patterns on the front here. They're light colored and they have little polka dots and whales. Um, that's just a personal preference. And they are nice and white on the inside and they are hypoallergenic. So they don't have any, um, they don't use chlorine, they don't use any um, types of lotions, but they did recently add fragrance to their diapers. I believe some people were complaining about just the stronger urine smell um, when the diapers were getting full. So they did add a mild fragrance, um, just something to be aware of. Um, and so as far as the lining and the thickness and absorbency, they do a pretty good job um, as you can see they, they have a decent thickness to them in the padding here they start all the way up here so they start very high up um, in the back they get a little thin towards the top the lining the padding ends right about there um, and they have just a teeny bit of a stretch in the back as far as comfort is concerned so I mean the downside is I think they could use a little bit more padding to go a little higher. We haven't had too many issues with blowouts on these ones, but I think that extra protection would be nice. Um, as far as comfort is concerned, these ones would probably be on the lowest side of the... the um, continuum just because they are a little bit rough to the touch so this accordion style it's not a crazy big deal um, they're not gonna hurt your child's skin but they are just a little bit um, rougher they're, these tabs they, they are a bit thinner than um, the other ones um, the, the tabs do stay on pretty well and overall it's a, it's a decent fit but they're just not, you know, super soft. Um, sometimes he gets a little bit of irritation from this, um, this elastic area. And um, our little guy does get a little bit of irritation from um, this diaper. It's not extreme, but of all of these diapers, um, the most irritation we've seen are from these up and up brands. I think it's due to the fact that, um, you know, there's just not much here and it's hypoallergenic, which is really nice. But then this um, padding tends to stick to his skin when the diaper gets full. So it just causes some, um, some of that irritation, which is why this is not our go-to diaper. I still use these throughout the day sometimes. I will throw them in um, just because because they are cheaper and so we do tend to change out the diapers fairly frequently so they're not incredible quality but they are a great budget um, friendly diaper so moving on um, is the loves 
And these are also budget friendly diapers. You get this humongous box of like 124 in a size 5 and you know they do run cheaper than the Huggies or the Pampers. Um, just to note, Loves are a budget friendly um, version of the diaper brand or actually the Pampers brand. They are a uh, budget friendly diaper of the Pampers brand. Uh, that's a tongue twister there. So. Um, they do have some similarities with the, the Pampers. Now, I don't have Pampers up here, and the reason being is that we used Pampers when um, our guy was, I think, one month. He was very, very small then, and we just preferred the Huggies over the Pampers brand because of one thing and one thing alone. They do work well, but and that is the scent. Both Loves and Pampers brands are scented. They do use a fragrance and I mean the loves are even more I would say um, Fragrant than the Pampers and that is just the number one drawback to these um, Anytime I change out this diaper the scent is strong. It's kind of a um, like a baby powder lotion um, I mean, almost like a chemical smell and that's just not something that I prefer to have on my baby's um, skin all day every day so that's the biggest drawback to the loves um, they're kind of similar to me to the up and ups they are a teeny bit thinner though um, you, you can feel the lining is a tad thinner but I haven't had any absorbency issues with them um, the tabs are fairly soft and then um, you know they stay on pretty well they're not super high quality they're not super soft um, like I said they are budget friendly and so with the budget friendly diapers you will find that the quality um, decreases just a little bit um, so also the, the another drawback with these is the back just all the way going up here there's no um, elastic stretch here to really get it nice and snug it's just kind of flat there's no um, pull here um, so that's not my favorite um, and so sometimes this could kind of get disattached from the back um, and cause a little bit of um, overflow so something to be aware of but it hasn't been crazy bad in our experience um, but that's just a drawback um, so that's what I have for loves between the loves and the up and ups I mean, I would kind of say they go equal, but they are different in terms of um, just the scent. The scent is stronger on these ones, although the actual um, irritation on the skin, surprisingly, these ones are a little bit of a higher irritant. Go figure. I don't know why that is, but um, for some reason he doesn't do as well with those. So moving on, this is our winning brand diaper. Um, like I said early on, we switched over from Pampers to Huggies and we were exclusive with Huggies for um, a few months and the reason why is because it's an overall good diaper. The Snug and Dry are a bit cheaper than like the Snugglers and the um, you know super super nice and soft ones but they still are a very good diaper. Um, so some of the positives to this one, the elastic band on the top, as you can see, it runs almost to the edge of these straps, and so it fits really nice. Like I could get it as, as nice and snug as I want it, and then when he's getting a little bigger and closer to a, a diaper size change, then I can move the straps back and he can still fit really nicely into them. So I really do like that. They are also hypoallergenic, they are chlorine free, and um, they are fragrance free. So that, those things are just a really big positive point for me with the Huggies. Like I said, especially having him in these overnight works great because I know there, you know, there aren't extra, um, 
negative side effects or irritants to his skin, especially overnight when we're not changing him out um, as frequently. So the, the fit on these is pretty nice. They have a softer elastic here than these two. Um, the only thing to know, and I've heard other people say this as well, um, sometimes with certain sizes, like I think when he was in a size three, they do run a little big here in the leg area. So they have just this kind of bigger loop here. And so if your um, baby's very um, skinny or has smaller thighs, um, getting that nice snug fit might be a little bit of a challenge. And so I found that, you know, some sizes fit better than others. So I think when we were in a size three, we were sort of struggling to get that really nice fit on him. And if he was too small for the next size up, but um, the current size wasn't fitting him very well. And so that's when we decided to try some of the other brands. And we ended up coming back um, to the Huggies um, just because of the overall quality. So that's something to be aware of. And I will say not every size in the size chart will be a great fit for your child so sometimes and sometimes your child will be in one size for maybe half a couple of weeks or a month and then they'll be in another size for a really long time so you just have to play that by ear and see how well the diaper um, fits your child um, yeah but overall I would say absorbency wise these are a little bit thicker they are thicker than these diapers so um, the nice thing about that is you know, this is the one that I'm comfortable with not changing out as frequently. Um, and that's also pretty much a mini saver um, to not have to go through as many diapers throughout the day. Um, and they have cute little Mickey patterns. Overall, it's just a winner in our book in the experience that we've had with the leading brands. Um, some money saving tips on the Huggies is um, occasionally Target will have promotional deals at least at our target where if you buy a hundred dollars worth um, you'll get a twenty dollar gift card um, sometimes Amazon will run deals um, and there's just and there's also the Huggies app that I do use and just scan in uh, my receipt and I will get points back on that and sometimes get like a five dollar gift card um, just little you know ways to save because um, diapers do tend to really add up and um, eat away at the budget so I hope this information is helpful for you. I hope that you find the best fit for your child. Every child's needs are different. Every child's skin is different. Um, and your child is unique. Um, so definitely give a couple brands a try. If, if a diaper is not working, give another brand a try. And um, just do a trial and error run and I hope you find um, the right diaper for your child and that it's a quick and easy process for you. Um, feel free to let me know what your favorite diaper is in the comments below and I'd love to hear just some of your tips and tricks um, with diapering in general. Thank you so much and I'll see you soon. Bye bye!